Key server divisions can be managed in three ways, manually, with rules, or by AD integration. To manually create and populate computer divisions, right-click in the Divisions pane in the Computer's window and select New Division. Assign a name to the division, select a color if you want, and click OK. To create nested divisions with a hierarchical structure, use a period as the division separator. For example, to create multiple subdivisions within a primary division called library, name the first division library.room1. The second division might be named library.room2. To populate divisions manually, simply select or multi-select the computers you want to move and then drag them into the appropriate division. Any computers moved into their division manually will be anchored there, as indicated by the anchor icon next to the division name in the main computer's window. This won't make any difference if all your divisions are being populated manually, but if you're going to use one of the automated division management options we'll be talking about next, be aware that anchored computers will be unaffected by rules and AD integration, which gives you an easy way to make exceptions to rule or Active Directory-based automation. For example, if each lab contains a kiosk machine, and rather than grouping kiosk machines in with the rest of the computers in the room based on their computer name, prefix, or OU location, you may decide to manually move all the kiosk machines into a division of their own. Now let's have a look at rules. Populating divisions with rules still requires you to create each division manually the way we did before, but instead of dragging computers into each division, we will use a filter with an action or rule to find computers and move them into their correct division automatically. After creating a division, right click in the filters pane of the computers window and select new filter. The most common attribute to filter on for division automation is the computer name prefix because it's very common for the first few characters of the computer name to represent the computer's physical location. That's not always the case, however, as some administrators filter on the computer name suffix or even the IP address range to find the computer records that need to be moved. You can even build a custom filter with AND and OR statements as long as you know the proper syntax. For detailed documentation on filters in KeyServer, open the Filter Details window, right-click and select Help. Context Aware Help will take you to the Filters section in our documentation. For this demonstration, we'll create a new filter that looks at the computer name prefix. Simply select computer name, begins with, and type the prefix. Drag the division into the set division rule, give the filter a name, and then click apply to see which computers will be affected. If any are anchored in their current location, you can right click and unanchor them here. When you're ready to enforce the rule and move the computers, close the filter details, Click on the word rule, which should now be read, and select yes. It may take a few seconds, and sometimes you have to refresh the computer's window, but the computers will be moved into the appropriate division automatically. The final way to automate divisions does not require you to create them manually. With Active Directory integration switched on, KeyServer will query AD for the OU details of every computer that logs into it, automatically creating new divisions as needed. It won't import the entire OU structure. It only creates the divisions it needs for the computers that log into the key server. Open the settings in the config menu under Client Authentication. Select Active Directory in the dropdown, or LDAP, Kerberos, or one of the other directory services listed. In the majority of cases, you won't need to fill out any of the configuration settings because AD and its computer OU structure is usually visible to KeyServer on the network without the need to authenticate. You will want to decide whether you want to use the first OU, last OU, or all OUs for your division names, and you'll need to check the boxes next to assign divisions automatically and create divisions as needed. In some cases, you may want to reverse the order of the parts, and if you'll be combining rules and AD integration, you'll want to decide which method takes precedence in case of a conflict. That's it. When the next unanchored computer logs into KeyServer, a new division will be created for it and it will be moved into it automatically. If that doesn't happen, you may just need to fill out the AD details we skipped earlier. And if that doesn't work, just email us at support at and someone will be happy to help out. 
That's it for this video on division automation. Thanks for watching.